Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a quick speed art for this idea that I had quite a while ago. I think it's been about 10 days or maybe 15 days. And yeah, this, this whole drawing all together took me more than 10 hours. Now, granted, it wasn't exactly the drawing that took 10 hours. It was more or less the fact that I had to redo certain portions of my drawing slash illustration slash whatever you want to call this. But yeah, overall, I'd say this particular piece took me about seven hours, removing any overdrawing and whatnot. And here's something I, I found funny over here. I initially had no intention to make this video. I just randomly thought of making this artwork about 10 or 15 days ago when I had to make an animation for an animation challenge and that led that particular animation challenge led me to make another animation that animation led me to think why not make a full speed art and this is very interesting because this is the second time I've actually made a proper illustration like um, with a background, with a character inside, with certain things going on within the piece. I am just so proud of this particular artwork. It's, I, I just love it. Now, as I said, this is my second piece. My first one was something I did about two years ago when I first started drawing and that particular piece was not really the best to say the least now it had everything that a normal drawing would have but i mean just overall i was just not a good artist back then now i've done a few portraits i guess like portraits of random fantasy women like a demonic person or just like random stuff like that i've done that in the past few days i've posted them on my twitter if you want just feel free to check that out just saying shameless plug <laughs> But this was the very first time that I actually did a proper illustration or a proper drawing and something that I'm actually really proud of. So the first thing was getting the base done and this thing is actually something I did beforehand because just the thought process over there, I, f I figured that it would take a very long time and it kinda did. So I just skipped that all together, I did not show that in the video but then after that was the line art and I just love the line art. I actually love the line art more than I love the actual final piece. That is, that's a little bit weird to say I know because technically, I mean, come on, it ha the final piece has colors and everything. It really brings out your character and whatnot. But still, I don't know why. I just love the line art more than I love the final piece. And uh, here's the thing though, while doing the line art, I had spent so much time, like so much time on the hands alone. That was the worst part. Drawing hands is like my kryptonite. <laughs> I I just, okay, so if you look at the uh, hand on the left, that hand right there, it just looks so weird. It looks so unnatural, so like it doesn't belong there. And like, it's just, I, I don't know how to describe it. And then the hand on the right, now that hand was originally supposed to essentially be holding her waist. So like she's leaning up against her waist essentially if that makes sense. But then because I didn't want to draw that, I just decided to have her put her hands behind her back or something like that and I just got away with that. <laughs> Not my proudest moment but I'm, I'm actually okay with that. After that was the slightly more interesting part, the coloring. And just so you know, I am actually very, very new to coloring. I, up until now, I have only used graphite pencils. Like I have papers after papers of just drawings in graphite pencil, as in the black and white graphite pencil. I don't know if you get colored graphite pencils or not. I think you do, but yeah, I'm talking about just black graphite pencil sort of thing and yeah it was very interesting for me to color because I had used various techniques I learned from watching videos online various techniques like um, actually various tricks in this case uh, something like don't use extremely saturated colors or don't 
have very hard shadows going on things like that it really it was very i was i was just blown away by how different this piece was because i followed these certain tips and tricks compared to what i first did which was just something i did right off my mind and all that 2 years ago and yeah the the difference is uncanny it's just it's really cool now there were a few mistakes i made while coloring and i don't know if you can say you can call them mistakes or not but i'm going to call them mistakes because i'm not exactly happy with them so the main thing over here is the dress the dress of the witch it's blue in color originally what i had in mind was something that was a proper black dress but then the problem with that was i wanted her outline to be visible so to do this i could not go with my black dress idea but afterwards i thought of okay fine maybe i can go for a very dark color but not black that didn't turn out so great so uh, at the end i just gave up and was like you know what just go for something that complements the pumpkin essentially it's something that goes well with the pumpkins and the blue dress came out from that i'm not exactly i'm not super pumped about the idea but it was a decent idea altogether i feel anyways but yeah leaving that aside the sky and the pumpkins they took me a while like just painting the sky and the pumpkin the sky i had to redo it twice or thrice just because i wasn't happy at all with how it turned out the pumpkin it just took me way too much time because of the amount of detail and if you notice on the inside i did not actually draw the inner lines because again it just takes way too much time it's totally unnecessary anyway i felt that way anyway so i just like drew sort of flames ish looking things coming out and yeah overall i am actually super ex- super happy that i made this piece and drawing this has actually taught me so many techniques so many tricks so many things about the software itself that i'm using it, it's so it's so good to just draw randomly and the the interesting thing is i spent about 10 hours but i honestly feel like it's only been maybe 2 or 3 like time flies like crazy when you draw just idly through it is really amazing and i honestly hope you guys like this piece as well as much as i did anyways and um thank you all so much for watching i'm sorry if my comment commentary ruined the experience of this video or whatever but yeah thank you all so much for watching and goodbye